Hello, good day viewers. Welcome back once again. Today we're going to solve for the value of x. I mean, the values of x in the following when take equation. We have x to the power of 5 plus 1. This is equal to 0. Obviously, 1 can say that x is equal to negative 1, right? Okay, from the left, this can be factorized as x plus 1 into bracket x to the power of 4 minus x cubed plus x squared minus x plus 1 and here this is equal to 0. Okay, one may ask how come of this quadratic equation here. Now the way to do this is the synthetic division. When you divide x to the power of 5 plus 1 by x plus 1, here we get x to the power of 4 minus x cubed plus x squared minus x plus 1, right? Okay, from here, we have x plus 1, this is equal to 0. Or from here, we have x to the power of 4 minus x cubed plus x squared minus x plus 1, this is equal to 0. So from here, actually, we have the solution, x is equal to negative 1. What about this? Let's divide both sides by x squared, each term from both sides. Okay. Then this by x squared and here by x squared. Now, x to the power of 4 divided by x squared, we have x to the power of 2 minus this, that is x plus here we have 1 minus x divided by x squared, that is 1 over x. And for the last term, 1 over x squared, this is equal to 0. So from here we group, we have x squared plus 1 over x squared. Then from here we have minus x minus 1 over x, then plus 1, this is equal to 0. So from here, we have x squared plus 1 over x squared, we factor out a negative 1, then we have x plus 1 over x plus 1, this is equal to 0. Now with this property, a plus a squared plus b squared, this is equal to a plus b squared minus 2ab. So from here we have x plus 1 over x squared minus 2x times 1 over x. You know, that is just 1, right? Then here minus 1 into bracket x plus 1 over x plus 1. This is equal to 0. So we make a substitution. We're going to let y equals x plus 1 over x. So actually here we get y squared minus 2 minus 1 times y, that is y plus 1, this is equal to 0. From here we get y squared minus y, now minus 2 plus 1 we give us minus 1, this is equal to 0. So from here we get the solutions, y is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus y c over 2a, that is the Brahmagupta general quadratic formula. And with that we have 1 plus or minus root of 5, right? Then all over 2. So here we have when y is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2, which is a golden ratio, Actually, x plus 1 over x will be equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2. Remember from here. And the other side of the condition here, we have when y is equal to 1 minus root 5 over 2. Then we have x plus 1 over x. This is equal to 1 minus root 5 over 2. Multiply both sides by 2x. Why? This is over 1. A little sum of 1x and 2 is 2x. So each term will be multiplied by 2x plus 2x multiplied by 1 over s. This is equal to 2x into bracket 1 plus root 5 all over 2. And from this side, 2x multiplied by x plus 2x multiplied by 1 over s. This is equal to 2x into bracket 1 minus root 5 all over 2. Okay, now from here we have 2x squared plus 2, then this is equal to x into bracket 1 plus root 5, because this 2 and this 2, and from here we have 2x squared 
plus 2, this is equal to x into bracket 1 minus root 5. So from here we have 2x squared minus 1 plus root 5x from this side, then plus 2, this is equal to 0. And from here we have 2x squared minus 1 minus root 5x, then plus 2, this is equal to 0. So we use the quadratic general formula. We have here negative b will be 1 plus root 5, then plus or minus square root of b squared will be, um, that is negative 1 plus root 5 in bracket squared. It's just the same as, you know, negative 1 squared is just 1. So here we have just 1 plus root 5 squared, right? Then minus 4 AC, that would be 16. So actually, from here, B here is negative into bracket 1 plus root 5 plus bracket. So when we square this, negative 1 squared is 1. So actually, that is the reason why you are saying this here. So don't get me wrong. So here we have all over 4. Remember, this is equal to x. And from this side, x is equal to negative. So this will be 1 minus root 5 plus or minus square root of b squared will be negative into bracket 1 minus root 5 close bracket squared. Same as 1 minus root 5 squared minus 4a so will be 16. Then all over 2a, which is 2 times 2, which is 4. So from here we have x is equal to 1 plus root 5 plus or minus the square root of. Now, when we square this from here, so we have 6 plus root 5. Minus 16 all over 4. And from here, x is equal to 1 minus root 5 plus or minus in the bracket there we have that is 6 minus root 5 then minus 16 all over 4 so from here we have x is equal to 1 plus root 5 plus or minus square root of 6 minus 16 here is negative 10 so actually we have 2 root 5 minus 10 then all over 4 and from here s is equal to 1 minus root 5 plus or minus oh the square root of 6 minus 16 here is negative 10 actually under this radical sign here we have negative 10 minus 2 root 5 which we can factor out the negative 1 and square root of negative 1 is i so here we have i and inside it will be positive 10 plus 2 root 5 then all over 4. And here we come up with the solution. We have x is equal to 1. Sorry, I mean x is equal to negative 1. Then for the complex solutions, we then have x is equal to 1 plus root 5 plus or minus the square root of 2 root 5 minus 10 all over 4. And for here we have x is equal to 1 minus root 5 plus or minus i square root of 10 plus 2 root 5 then all over 4 and these are the solutions thank you for watching please kindly subscribe to my youtube channel please like comment and share bye bye